Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So you can see the US there, there had an OK day there uh, on Monday when the rest of the European markets were closed for Labor Day. Um, and for obviously the start of May, you had Friday and your Monday right there. Um, but we are oh, kind of grinding a little bit higher, still making this pattern of lower highs. We're not breaking out as of yet. But 18,112 is the next potential resistance level to be aware of. Uh, in regards to economic data, obviously we've got non-farm payrolls um, coming on Friday. That's going to be a real big one. Um, and you've got today alone, you've got US trade balance and you've got some PMI data uh, due today in the US. So that could be a little bit of a, uh, a precursor to the next move higher or lower. Um, as you saw uh, an article regarding one of the Fed members coming out saying he's quite a dovish Fed member and regarding interest rates um, that he would like to see an interest rate uh, hike sooner rather than later but that a slow trajectory is probably going to be the way forward so that likes to uh, shake things up ever so slightly. Moving on to Wednesday you've actually got a whole host of other PMI data for market uh, and you've also got some HSPC data there as well from China, Germany, the Eurozone, the UK you've got Eurozone retail sales, uh, ADP private payroll numbers, which are obviously quite quite um, quite popular, and then you've got your petroleum reports as well. So jumping quickly onto the UK 100, um, we had a decent day there on Friday, uh, and as you can see there, we've moved a little bit lower already this morning, still hovering quite close, uh, just uh, to to recent highs, just taking our head still above. Uh, 7,000 right there. Other technicals relatively neutral. Any move to the downside, you might still be looking at 69.64 as being potential support to uh, look out for. So moving on to Japan 225, uh, we did see that Australia cut interest rates uh, overnight, uh, and actually the Aussie dollar bounced uh, immediately, moved down, but then bounced higher uh, as a lot of kind of APAC regions are beginning to show signs of slowdown. Uh, a lot of PMI uh, data releases are coming out below, say, 50, which uh, is meant to show a contraction in those economies. So they're trying to do like stimulus. They're trying to think of other ways to, to keep their economy going. Obviously, you've got China as well. So Japan, 225, sl uh, edging slowly down this morning, uh, having had uh, a couple of gains the last two sessions there on Friday and on Monday. And um, certainly we are looking at a longer term potential resistance it's around about uh, 20,087 uh, still being in, in play, but we're a little bit away from that just now. Bouncing between two moving averages, your 21 and 55 period SMA, and you still have this up, this uh, uptrend line here within the channel formation providing potential support, and that is quite close to the 55 period SMA on Japan 25. So then moving on to dollar yen, uh, dollar yen uh, trading at 120 at the moment, uh, a little bit away from the this level at 119 has been in play probably since November last year. We've been oscillating around it for some time. We're not a huge uh, distance away from there right now, but we've had two days of uh, very little movement uh, on, on on Monday and again so far today. Uh, very tight candle levels, trading above both moving averages, 21 and 55 period. Uh, averages right there. The other technicals are still relatively neutral with maybe the MACD just about across the zero line which would be seen as a little bit of a bullish figure on there. So jumping on to West Texas crude, so there was reports yesterday that Saudi Arabia had sent limited ground forces into Yemen which proved to be, uh, well they denied it anyway and if there was any troops it was only special forces and only a small number of them but uh, there was little ticks up in, in crude oil yesterday, nothing, nothing major. Ended up with a doji formation, still trading below $59. <laughs> We're at 58 right now, uh, and that actually would coincide with the tips of the previous candles right here. We just add that on like that. You could probably say that around about 57. Uh, that was broken resistance, now expected to act as support. Very tight range on here, maybe a period of consolidation expected in West Texas. So moving on to gold, gold to 1186 seems to be a level that it likes to bounce around. Um, we're trading below both moving averages. This is expected to act as potential support slash resistance. Other technicals are neutral. All depends on what the dollar does next. So watch out for some of those US economic data releases today to add a little bit more color as to what's happening there. I'm finishing up with your dollar and dollar and uh, uh, GBP USD. So your dollar drifting lower again. Uh, pretty much bang on potential uh, support at one spot 11. Uh, we've had three three uh, days of, I guess, accelerating losses ever so slightly. So you had doji formation, more more candle body there, more candle body today. That could be three black crows beginning to form after doji formation. Obviously, we just, just started the session there today, and there is a fair amount of uh, US economic data that could uh, bounce this around a little bit as well. And then finishing up with GBP USD, 
it's had a real bag the last couple of days, uh, especially there on Friday, came off quite, quite aggressively. It's the UK election on Thursday, the 7th of May. We're trading below one spot, 52.85, which is expected to have as, as potential resistance now. So it was support, it's been broken. We've almost got a crossover on the MACD. You can see the histogram is beginning to retreat. We've had a sell signal on the RSI and the same for the slow stochastic. So from a technical perspective, cable looks weak. Um, and that pretty much uh, gives you everything you need to know about the markets today. So keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again on Wednesday to find out what happened next.